Oh my gosh, here is a zombie baby that I have not seen yet. Scheming Sally. Look at the look in her eyes. She's like, oh yes, I will kill you. But how to do it remains a mystery. Spirits open, let's go. Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, we are back at the Spirit Halloween today, and as you know, this Friday is Friday the 13th, so I thought it appropriate that we go right in this store here and check out everything Jason Voorhees. This is actually the Canton location on Whipple. I've already filmed this store. In fact, it was the first store that I filmed this season, but I was in the area, and so I thought, you know what? Let's do it again. Thank you, Automatic Doors. We are gonna say hello to everything in here, but we are gonna go straight to Ooh, I see it over here already, the Friday the 13th stuff. Yeah, after we look at all the Jason stuff, we'll come back through and make another walk through this store, see the animatronics. I already see they have this little chick over here set up, which they didn't have set up the first time I was in here. But let's go ahead over here and start with the shirts and find everything Friday the 13th, starting with this one right here, which is my favorite shirt this entire season. Jason Voorhees, most likely to kill it. Of course, right behind Below that one we have I Wish It Was Friday, which is actually a pretty cool shirt. And then we have this one over here, the bloody, disgusting, absolutely horrifying Jason shirt. That looks to be all as far as the posters that they have up here. But sometimes if you just look at the shirts themselves, you can find other ones that are not actually on the posters up here. So I am looking, but surprisingly, I am not seeing anything that's not on the poster. Hmm, that's kind of a bummer. Oh well, all right, let's come on over here and we will check out the costume section right over here of Friday the 13th. Oh, look at this. I don't know if I've seen this before. I probably have. You guys have watched these videos a 100,000 times. So if I have already seen this, let me know. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake campers hat. I should get one of those. I would not look right wearing that hat. <laughs> you can go right back to your home there. Let's just start from the bottom and we'll work our way up here. So right beside that hat we have the Jason Voorhees mask and machete. Now it's funny because there are several different masks available for Jason. This is just one of them. This seems to be kind of a thinner mask but if you buy this one you also get the machete with it and that is $24.99. They do have the mask and the machete separate here in case you already have one or the other. Let's see how much the mask is itself. The mask is $16.99 and the machete appears to be the same machete as in the bundle right here. It's black with the blood on it and that is $12.99. So it's definitely a better deal to go ahead and get the bundle pack down here rather than buying those separately. Now I do see we have some shirts and jerseys and hoodies here. Check out this hoodie. I don't think I have ever seen this one before. It's kind of like a mix between a jersey and a hoodie. That is sweet. Yeah, check that out. F13 on the back there for Friday the 13th. An awesome Jason patch, black hood. F13 on the arms, and then we got Jason on the front there, his mask with the double blades behind it. Jason Voorhees embroidered up here. That is pretty cool. Looks like all four of these are the same, and then we have this hockey jersey right here, Voorhees 13 on the back, Jason's mask on the front with blood and stripes, and then we got 13s on the arms as well, and the 13 on the back is actually embroidered on there. That one is a black one. Here's a red one, which is almost the same thing. J Voorhees F13. Camp Crystal Lake on the front there. We got the tie with the V-neck. And then the arms have the stripes. And this one has the Jason mask on it. And it looks like these are pretty much all the same until you get down here here to some t-shirts. Oh, that's a bedazzled Jason mask right there. Nothing on the back of that one, but we do have the diamonds on the front, and they all three are like that. We have the Jason earrings here. These are the dangly earrings. 
Those are $12.99. We got the Friday the 13th beanie here. That's pretty cool. I like that embroidered mask there with the blade through it. Friday the 13th tag on it right there. And I believe this is the mask that I actually have hanging in my movie room right beside uh, Freddy's glove or right below Freddy's glove because I wanted to make it like a Freddy versus Jason thing. And I'm actually working on a Friday the 13th craft, which you guys are going to see very soon. And I was considering getting this mask again. How much is this? $44.99. I think that one actually will serve the purpose for what I'm doing. I would kind of hate to use the more expensive uh, mask for what I'm making, so I'll probably just go with this one here. I have another one at home that has like the rubber under face, you know, with the eye sticking out and everything, but it's really cheap and I only bought it because I needed that under part, but I want the mask to look good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up one of these before I leave today. We got the Friday the 13th socks here with the embroidered Jason mask right there. Oh, and it says Friday the 13th on the feet. Camp Crystal Lake Counselor socks. These are cool, the pins and patches. So the top two are pins. We got Jason's mask and then we have the Crystal Lake Police. That's cool, I don't know if I've seen that before. And then the bottom two are patches. Welcome to Camp Blood and Camp Crystal Lake. That's $14.99 for the whole pack of those. And then it looks like we have three different costumes up here. We have the basic Jason Voorhees woven work shirt costume there and that does not come with the mask that's just the shirt you'd have to get the mask and the blade on its own and then we have another hockey jersey up here which is pretty much like what we were just looking at um the only difference with this one is that it doesn't have the tie on the neck and then we have the camp crystal lake counselor outfit here this is hilarious i love this with the shorty shorts that is too funny oh the socks come with that too i was thinking you'd like have to get those socks to go with it, but it comes with the shorty shorts, the shirt, and the socks. Oh wait, I missed this over here. Jason Voorhees dress. Okay, that looks more like um, the one jersey that we were looking at that has the ties on the V-neck there. That is actually pretty cool. There's Jason's face on it right there. So that includes just the dress, the lace-up dress. It does not include the holy Spanx. <laughs> so I don't see them, but I know that they do make the Camp Crystal Lake Counselor outfit for guys as well. And that appears to be everything in this section here. Let's go ahead and take a walk around the store and just kind of peek in every crack and crevice and see if there's any other Jason costumes or masks or anything that they might have. Here's a lot of Freddy stuff here, man. I love Freddy. I love Freddy versus Jason. This is the metal glove that I actually have downstairs in my basement and in my movie room. The one that I was just talking about that's right above that uh, Jason mask. If you go over to the Saturday Night Snack and a Movie channel, you can see that setup. I actually have a video on there right now of turning my whole basement, my whole movie room into a haunted Halloween paradise movie room. So yeah, let's just keep on motivating around just a little bit here, keeping our eyes peeled, see if we see any other Jason stuff pop out at us. Here's all the ghost face stuff here. Look at this. I don't think I've ever looked close up at the ghost face bling mask. It's actually kind of cool. And here's a whole bling slayer kit with a bling knife as well. <laughs> Look at this. Here's one I haven't seen before. It's a glitter ghost face costume, a hooded dress, and the mask. And it's pink. It's pink glitter. That is actually kind of cool. All right, I don't want to get off track here, but I do want to keep my eyes open for things that I maybe haven't seen while I'm looking around for more Jason stuff. Like this Rust Ease costume. How cool is that? Medicated Rust Ease bumper ointment. I'm about to buy that for my wife. No way, guys. No way. No way. They actually have a Lord Farquaad costume. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I am so excited right now to find Lord Farquaad in Spirit Halloween. You're just jealous because you could never measure up to a great ruler like Lord Farquaad. I am blown away that they have that. That's the coolest thing ever. All right, let's check out the hats here and see if we can find anything Jason amongst the hats. Here's a killing it beanie. It's not Jason, but it is pretty cool. That is not Jason. 
Jason. Look, we got the riffraff glasses here. I know, I'm easily distracted. Wait, what? <laughs> New best friend, anyone? <laughs> all right, let's stay on track here. We're gonna come look at all this stuff in a minute here. All right, let's move on over to the masks because I can almost guarantee there's at the very least a hockey mask over here somewhere. Yep, here we go, glow-in-the-dark hockey mask. Not necessarily Jason, but it is a hockey mask. You could customize this to make it a Jason mask. Okay, I'm sorry, but this Michael Myers mask looks like he's saying, uh, excuse me, sir, is it lunchtime yet? Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? Inflatable corn. I'm in love. Inflatable corn. I'm trying to find everything Friday the 13th, and I keep finding cool stuff like the inflatable corn. <laughs> All right, we got some more machete choices over here. This is the kind that has the blood in it, and if you tilt it like this, the blood actually runs. That is pretty cool. Cool. That would make a good addition to a Friday the 13th costume. Looks like we got one other machete over here, which would also suffice if you needed it to. Here's a couple of other things I haven't seen yet. The tree face here, and then we have the alien leaner. I don't think I've seen that in stores yet. Oh my gosh, here is a zombie baby that I have not seen yet. Scheming Sally. Look at the look in her eyes. She's like, oh yes, I will kill you. But how to do it remains a mystery. All right. I'm easily getting caught up in all the other awesomeness around here. Let's try to keep it on track here and find some more Jason stuff. I know they don't have any inflatable Jasons, although it would be cool. At one point, they did have Jason pathway markers. Was that here or was that somewhere else? I know I've seen both Jason and Michael Myers, but I don't remember if it was here. Okay, yeah, they got a lot of stuff on the floor here, guys. Stay tuned for that. We're going to do that near the end. We're going to find the Jason stuff first. And here is a Friday the 13th mask light. That is pretty cool. Freestanding and wall mountable. So it looks like you can either use batteries or a USB cord for that. That's cool. I like when they give us the battery option on stuff like this. This sign right here is better than the entire Beetlejuice Beetlejuice movie. Sorry, I had to say it. Anyways, Friday the 13th. <laughs> Jason Voorhees LED Whirl Emotion Static. Stick it in the ground and it displays that on your house. Here we go. Here's a Jason Voorhees planter right here. I have a mug that's almost exactly like this. What is that? Is that a ficus? Okay, I don't see any Jason stuff over here. Have we ever had a Jason bobblehead or a Jason sidestepper? Looks like the only horror baby we have is the ghost face. I wonder if they'll give us a Jason one of these seasons. Okay, somebody was just telling me about this sign up here. Ghost face, live, laugh, stab. That's actually pretty cool. All right, we got a Jason right here. That is a canvas painting slash poster. We got this giant Camp Crystal Lake sign down here. That is cool. I really like how big that is. Kind of surprised we don't have a Jason door cover here unless I'm just overlooking it, but we do have the Friday the 13th lunchbox. That's cool. That's $16.99. At first I thought that was lenticular where you move it around and the picture changes. Yeah, I don't see any Jason door covers here. Um, we got Michael, we got the Silence of the Lambs, Chucky, Killer Clowns, even Gremlins, Ghostface, Pennywise, The Exorcist, Mars Attack. Do we have Jason pajamas? Yes, we have them. Camp Crystal Lake pajamas right here. Two-piece sleep set. Do we have a plush blanket with Jason on it? I don't see any on this side. There's some more over here. Hmm, wow, surprisingly I don't see any. I really thought I would find one with Jason. I don't see any Jason slippers either. However, I do see some slippers that I have not seen in any other store yet. It's the Terrifier slippers. I heard these exist, and this is the first time I'm actually seeing them in person. I don't see any Jason doormats either. I'm pretty sure they have one. No, that's SpongeBob. <laughs> Seems that I have seen them before, but I don't see any in here today. I do like this Mars Attacks Invaders Welcome doormat, though. That is cool. Hmm, I don't see any Jason plushies. And I'm really surprised I don't see any Jason dog costumes. But they do have Sam. Look at that. Look at that dog inside the Sam head. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my gosh, look at the Wednesday. That dog just looks thrilled to have that on. And my favorite of them all, 
the doggy ghost face costume. That is hilarious. Now, I know they have Friday the 13th stuff up there, a whole bunch of it, I'm pretty sure, but I don't want to pass up anything, so I'm just going to come over here real quick and just point out that here's another hockey mask. And here's a hockey jersey that could pass if he needed it to. But if you notice on this one, it says 31 instead of 13. Oh, and I almost missed it. We have some more machetes right here, and we do have the kids' size Jason things right here. This one's the jersey with some hockey sticks. Oh, it says 31 instead of 13, but we know what it is. Holy crap, guys. Look at this inflatable piggyback ghost face costume. I have never seen this before. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. This is just unbelievable that I'm finding so many cool things in the store today when I came in here for one simple thing, Friday the 13th, and I'm finding things like this. Oh my gosh, and it continues. I'm looking at the kids' costumes here, and I don't see any, uh, and I don't see any Jason costumes, but look at this little kitty ghost face costume. That is is hilarious. All right, let's come on up to the trinkets section here, find all the Friday the 13th stuff, and then we will go back through and see all the animatronics and everything on the floor that they have for sale in the animatronics selection. All right, we got a couple of things down here in the sock section. We have these with the mask on. We have more of the Camp Crystal Lakes. We have a whole horror pack that has a Friday the 13th in it. Do we have a Jason plushie anywhere hiding in here? I do see a Michael Myers down here, and I'm pretty sure I bought a Jason plushie from here before, but I do not see one today. Ooh, all right, I do see we have some Jason shot glasses here. Oh, those are stuck together. Hold on. There we go. That's pretty cool. We got the mask on this side, Friday the 13th on the back. That's cool. Those are only a buck. These are pretty awesome. There's ghost face killing it. Okay, so let me point this out real quick. I have some of these at home that I bought here last year, and I actually just bought a pumpkin to carve today. Yeah, believe it or not, pumpkins are in stores already, ready to be carved. I'm not sure if I will dig out those teeth yet or not, but I'm definitely carving that pumpkin tonight. All right, while we're here, let's leave some stickers in the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. I don't see any Jason trick-or-treat bags here, but let's go ahead and make our way around this way into the maze of death. Check out these Chucky ducks here. Oh my gosh, that is pretty dang cool. I ought to buy one of those for my hot tub. So they got these little globes down here. They usually have Jason amongst them, but I'm not seeing him this time. What the heck? Whoa, wait a minute. Check this out. This is pretty sweet. What the heck is this even? It's like a tiny little Jason bag of some kind. I guess it's called a wristlet zipper on top there. And look at this. It even has a butcher knife. All right, I do see a Camp Crystal Lake key fob sticking out here. And we have some mystery bag clips here. If you look close, you can see there's actually a Jason in there. We got all kinds of magnets and decals here. Scooby-Doo, Five Nights at Freddy's, Killer Clowns. We got Pennywise there, Chucky. I don't see any Jason though, although we do have this cool Corpse Bride one. Friday the 13th candy, sour cherry candy cleavers. I've actually bought these before. They're pretty tasty. Halloween H2O decal. That is actually, aside from the very first one, my very favorite. I love Halloween H2O. I'm gonna have to watch it tonight. I think I need some eyeballs while I'm here. All right, here we go. We got a Friday the 13th uh, mug, I guess you'd call it here. Maybe it's a tumbler mask on the front, Friday the 13th on the back. All right, here's a Camp Crystal Lake glass goblet, I guess you'd call it. I don't know how well you can see that picture on there, but it's Jason's mask over top of Camp Crystal Lake. Oh, here's that mug I was talking about earlier when we saw the ficus, but this is actually a mug and the handle is the machete. That's pretty cool. I have that somewhere, probably in storage. It appears to be the only Friday the 13th mug they have, unless I'm completely overlooking it. And that brings us to the end of the maze here. So I'm going to keep an eye out while we go through the store, but let's start right back up here and check out all the animatronics before we go. All right, here we go. Welcome to the Carnival. Let's do Ghostface first. Strange that you and I have never spoken on the phone. This is long overdue. All right, let's move on over here to the ringmaster. Come on, Shack Attack.
All right, let's move on through. And let's go straight over here to the one that I have not seen in action yet, guys. The Dark Princess. She was set up at one other store I was in, but she wasn't plugged in. I am really looking forward to seeing how she works. Here we go. Come on, Dark Princess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the face on her. Holy crap. This is what I love about jump scare props like this. She has the hair hanging down in her face. She has like all this stuff hanging down from what is apparently her wings. And when she jumps up, it all flies forward. So let's do that again. You can see exactly what I'm talking about. Here we go. Here we go. Watch this. <laughs> that is so awesome. That actually reminds me of demonic Dahlia. I think Dahlia's hair was the craziest I've ever seen in a jump scare prop. It like flew everywhere. All right, let's come on over and do towering Tallulah. Come on now, Tallulah. Here we go. Watch, her hair flies too. <laughs> I love the flying hair. She talks for so long and I can't keep it going because of the music because I get a copyright strike. All right, we always got to do the Wheel of Fate. Here we go. Will I live? Will I die? Will I keep my eye? Where is it going to land? Where is it going to end? E star. Whoa, wait a minute. We missed one here, guys. It's the buttons. I know. In fact, right here on the top, the Friday the 13th Jason button. I knew we would find more stuff before we were done. Look, they even have a Camp Crystal Lake button as well. Oh, look, we got the art plushie here too. Let's go ahead and get Max Straw going. <laughs> All right, we got the cremator going over here already. To unseen realms of the underworld. <laughs> Let's get giant death ray going here. And we got art over here. All right, let's come on back to the Fun House of Terror. You know what, let's go through there first. Fun House of Terror, here we come. I'm not even gonna look at the mirrors because they just wanna make me fat. Wait a minute. Mm, I can smell the cotton candy in here. I think this is actually only the second one I've been in where I could smell the cotton candy. And speaking of cotton candy, let's get Dan going. Get your cotton candy here. We've added some new ingredients. I think you're gonna like it. <laughs> Let's get Wanda Webworth going. Come on, Wanda. Come on, Wanda. There we go. What the heck? <laughs> there we go. I knew she would work if we just kept stomping on her. This guy is already working here. Hello, Mr. Eye Follower. Oh, maybe not Eye Follower. Don't worry, I'm just admiring your costume. All right, let's get Barnaby the Bear going here. Come on, Barnaby. Yikers, the music on this side of the store is really loud, so all I can really do is show you these guys. Maybe we can see them moving a little bit here. And then we got Bobby Strings on the end. So I was just over at Home Depot yesterday and I saw the witch that is like pretty much like Bobby Strings. 
She's only about half the size, so I would definitely have to choose Bobby Strings over her. All right, through the Fun House of Terror one more time, and then we're gonna see all the animatronics that they have for sale on the floor right back here because they have a ton, starting with the plethora of jumping spiders. We got the black and red, we got the brown, we got the gray, and we have the black. All right, this is such an awesome sight over here, guys. Let's start right here. We have the cauldron this here. We have two Barnaby the Bears, two groundbreaking Nightmare Before Christmas worms. We got a man's possessed friend. In fact, it looks like we have three of the man's possessed friend, a Mr. Punchy, three Howling Spirits, and this guy. We got a Wanda Webworth down here. We got a couple of foam coffins here. We got a sitting scarecrow. Looks like we have two sitting scarecrows and a Cerberus. And then we got some swingers over here. The empty soul girl on a swing and the creep crimson girl on a swing and then our last pile over here we got the stuffed dummy prop we have an emmeline we got the floor candelabra a creeping cat gravestone ghoul the black heart another emmeline in fact we have three of them all together and then we have a whoa ghastly ghost girl on a swing. I've never seen her in a store before, and she's right beside Ghostface. You've been keeping the ghastly girl a secret, haven't you? Alright, I've been in here way too long, guys. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna get my eyeballs here. I'm gonna get that Jason mask and hit the road. <laughs> Oh, my God.